We are sleeping this. <laughs> we gotta get y'all out of y'all docile state, man. You know, a lot of times, first off, Shalom, giving our praise to the Most High and the Son. Uh, a lot of times we get caught up like what Christianity did for us, just like what the Israelites are doing. They're caught up in uh, sorcery, magic, tricks. That's all it is. You can add all of them up together. They're just going to come out to be tricks. You trick somebody into believing something. Because we all thought we all came over here on slave ships. But they can't find one ship. Anybody know that? Did anybody know that? And don't get caught up in the CGI, AI photos. Church. And that class coming next. No, sl no slave ships. Nobody under no ship for three months, man. It it's impossible. That's right. It's impossible, man. And don't get caught up. Don't if you if you're not really open minded. You go. You gonna believe what somebody else tell you? No research. No history. No fact checking. That's how we roll. That's how we've been rolling all our lives. Bring it out. Did anybody ever quit question Christmas? Bring it out. Bring it out. As long as you can give you good, ain't you? Who would want to question Christmas, man? Who want to question these doctors? They gonna look at the title and they and, they, and their attitudes gonna go because they 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 not truly spiritual. Right. To open up, to think that no one has did no research, proven any facts. Bring any documentation. Why they don't have a manifest? I mean, they'll give you what they want you to think, and you're thinking. That's what the television do for you. That's what men do for you. You're going to find out today. Let me tell you something. Whatever ways or means that some of these slaves got here, they wasn't called slaves at first. They was called indentured servitude. That's right. Let me tell you something. They got bamboos too. Bamboos them too. Get over, come over here and work your seven years. Let me tell you something. You working seven years for a trip over here? Yeah. Think somebody gonna treat you fairly after your, your term is up? But we're gonna find out today. We're gonna find out today. First Thessalonians 5 and 21. See, cause I put the name out there, some dude all you had to take it from. That let me know that that boy, whoever it was, got an issue with himself. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you, can't, you can't make this stuff up, man. Hey, you know what? That 501 C to the three has got these Israelite camps bugging out, man. Bugging all the way out. Now they just, you know, they they hirelings, man. They teachers for hire, right? You leading the flock astray. Unbelievable. This, 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 this lesson doesn't have to be very long. Not at all. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm just coming off a puzzle. <laughs> Apostle Tahar's lesson, man. Oh man, uh, he was he was he was killing me, you know. But anyway, please uh, excuse my voice. Let, let me start off first. First and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone of whom I learn from daily, like just like today, <laughs> every day, right. And a healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. Now, you, you know, uh, and, and again, just coming off Apostle Tahar's video, man. Mm -mm -mm. He said, you know, we, uh, you, we're going to have to start teaching. We're going to have to start teaching, you know, uh, uh, these people like they're in kindergarten. This is, it's, this is crazy. Yeah, you, know, you got this group one body talking about is uh, uh, slavery. It didn't happen. And we what? I mean, come on, man. If anybody knows, that's that, uh, what's that dude, Dane Calloway or Dean Calloway, whatever the hell his name is, that's one of his doctrines. It's a doctrine out there that, uh, that's saying that, uh, no, 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 you know, so-called, you know, they call them black people. Anyway, so-called black people, well, they were always here. They were always here. The black people were always here. You know, they never, they didn't come on slave ships. That, that doesn't exist. I was going to get this to see here. 
let's go ahead and <laughs> jump into a couple of scriptures. Anyway, uh, Apostle Tahar, we're going to start have to start teaching, you know, teaching like uh, like like they in kindergarten. You know, you hold up four pictures. <laughs> he killed me. You know, he said, yeah, I got to hold up four pictures. And, you know, one of a Hamite, one of a, 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 a Edomite, you know, one of a, 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 a Moabite, you know, and one of an Israelite, you know, and, and you, you're going to have to, which, which picture, which picture is out of place? The Edomite, you know, <laughs> uh, you got four choices. Anyway, it was killing me. He was killing me. I don't even want to go to that scripture right there. <coughs> Salakia. What did our enemies do to us? All 12 tribes, right? They put our ass in slavery. In slavery. Are we not yet this day in our captivity? You know, I think he mustered something else out of his mouth. Talking about uh, indentured servitude. And now that's what they teach in the schools. That's complete nonsense, man. <laughs> this is crazy. These, these, uh, these Israelite camps that have sold out, these hirelings, have lost their damn mind. And the people, and yeah, you know what? Again, laying back on what Apostle DeHar just said, don't come to GMS. He said, don't even come to GMS. You know, because we have to teach you like children. You know, like like just a, a bunch of a bunch of little children, a bunch of little six-year-olds, man. You know, come on, man. Luke 19 and verse 27. This is red letters right here. That means Yahweh Shai speaking, okay? Who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, right? All right? But to those mine enemies, what do your enemies do? They always put you in slavery and, sub and subject you uh, uh, unto a, a, um, uh, not indigenous servitude, but slavery. You know, they every, every facet of everything, they oppress you. That's what oppression is. They oppress you. But those my enemies, which what would I have not, I have reigned, I should reign over them. Bring them hither and slay them before me. Why do he say that? Why do he say that? Because they're, they're because of what they did. All right. Let's keep going. Jeremiah 51 and verse 24. And I will render unto Babylon, you know, which is AKA America, the land of the north, right? And to all the inhabitants of uh, Chaldea, and their e in their evil that they have done in Zion, in your sight, saith the Lord Yahweh. Okay, what was one of those greatest evils? Whether the Lord have scattered thee for a reproach, and to be subject to payments. Again, Baruch three and verse eight. That's called slavery, not indentured servitude. That's two different things. Matter of fact, let's move on down here. Here we go. Let's get this. Indentured servitude. I typed this in. A noun, American history. A person who came to America and did, did you hear that? The land of the north, right? Okay. A person who came to America and was placed under contract. You see that? Listen to this definition right here. Under contract to work for another over a period of time, usually seven years, which is a number of completion, actually, all right, especially during the seventh, uh, 17th, uh, 17th to 19th century, generally indentured servants, indentured servants, <laughs> included uh, a, a re redemptioners, victims, or religious or political persecution, persons kidnapped to the purpose of, Con, uh, convict, convicts and uh, and paupers. I don't know what that word means. I may want to look that up. I'll look it up later. Okay. Now let's go to because he said. Uh, I mean, he's the five hundred one c three basically puts a muzzle on you. All right. And what uh, what that group just what they were saying is just complete and uh, uh, utter nonsense. They said that we they said that we were not brought here as slaves and we didn't uh, and a matter of fact traded that's why they call it the slave trade. Okay? Now again this lesson doesn't have to be long. This is simple. So let's go into slavery, the actual word, slavery. 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 There's a difference between indentured servants and slavery. Didn't it say for a period of time? 
Slavery is involuntary. You, we didn't. You, uh, uh, there's no contract to be signed. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I'm gonna sign a contract. I'll be. I'll be a slave, and I'll work for free, and I'll do this, and I'll do that, and you never have to pay me. That's not a period of time. That's not a contract. You already know what slavery is. I don't even need to go here. The state of being a, a slave. You see, the practice or a system of owning slaves. Indentured servants weren't owned. These, these, these dudes, man, teaching for hire, man, and a bunch of damn hirelings. Let's go to Deuteronomy 28. And thou shalt grope at noonday, as the blind gropeth in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. Why? Because we are slaves. Whether Yahweh by Shimei Awashai sent us. <coughs> Actually, mainly the land of the north, U.S. of A, Babylon. And that's the truth. All right, thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, and thou shalt only be oppressed and spoiled evermore, and no man shall save thee. What the hell did that just say? Come on, man. Again, we're going to have to start teaching you like you're a bunch of damn uh, 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 kindergartners, man. You have got to be kidding me. <laughs> you know, uh, you got a multi multiple choice. <laughs> oh man, Apostle Tahar was killing me, man. He was killing me. And please excuse my voice. I'm sort of stopped up. But let's go here, okay? Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. This is a simple scripture that is easy to understand. It's, you know, the, the Edomites and the, the, every, all these damn people try to debunk it and this and that, and blah, blah, blah. But it's only talking about one thing it's simple to see what it's talking about. Okay, we're going to read it. <laughs> Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. And the Lord Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. We all know Egypt is synonymous with what? Bondage. Let's go there. Let's just make it simple. Plain upon tables. That's an Exodus. Um... Yeah. Um, why, why is that? You see, the house of bondage. Yeah. Yeah, I know that's in Exodus. Yeah, I haven't went there in a while. So lock you for that. Okay. That's not good. Anyway, Exodus 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord Yahweh thy power, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. It just said Egypt is the house of bondage. Have you ever read Exodus? Again, we have, to, we have to teach you like some kindergartners. This is ridiculous. It's ridiculous that they would even teach something like that. This is nonsense, complete and utter nonsense. No slave, they didn't find no slave ships, so therefore it didn't happen. What, uh, do you not believe in the Bible? Deuteronomy 28, verse 68, and the Lord Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt, Again with ships, by the way whereof I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. What is that? It, our homeland. And, where's, and where where we come from? Jerusalem, which is above and free, which is, it says the mother of us all. That's what it says. All right? All right? Okay? <laughs> Jeez, man. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Now, how can that come out of an Israelite's mouth? Especially one that is claiming to teach the truth and trying to trying to wake wake them up. <laughs> what they say, that's right. Teach, teach them, teach them. You well, what are you teaching them? They're gonna hang on to every word you say. The ones that the people, the Israelites that follow your uh, uh your group, they are going to hang on to these words, man. What are you thinking? So now they're going to be walking around talking about we was never slaves. Was ne we, were, we were never slaves. That's pride. That's re it's really pride if you think about it. You know? You think of yourself more highly than you ought to, really. Okay? Let me get through this scripture. Salakia. All right? And the Lord Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. And we all, I just, you know, that's what Egypt means is, is bondage, man. With ships. With what? With ships. Well, they didn't find a, uh, uh, teach the sheeps, as he says, right? <laughs> the sheeps. 
But they didn't find any ships, right? So that, was that make it null and void? That the shit didn't happen? You niggas are crazy. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, the homeland, you know, you now shall see it no more again, the homeland, right? And there ye shall be sold, sold, sold. Huh? Sold, not indentured servitude, not a, a contract, sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. And that buy is an old Quaker word for redeem. Okay? Because who is our redeemer? Yahawashai. See? That's our redeemer. You get it? Yeah, let's just let's just take it slow. Let's take it slow. Take it easy. Make it plain upon tables. Can you not understand this? My goodness. Well, look, I pulled this up right quick. The Chloe uh uh Cholitia. Clolita, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Co uh, yeah, something like that. Whatever. The last known slave ship to arrive in the U.S. is what is found, right? Now, I didn't even have to pull this up, but I did. It's what is found. Look at that. One hundred and fifty-nine years ago, slave traders, traders, uh huh. That's why it's called the slave trade. Is a triangle, okay? Back and forth we went. So-called northern and southern kingdom. Sold into slavery, not indentured servitude. Okay? My goodness. Slave traders stole. Let's see. Uh, uh, let's see. Great, great, great. Uh, I, don't, I don't need to read none of that garbage. We already know what's going on. Jeremiah 17 and verse 9. The heart is deceitful. That's your mind. And uh, uh, above all things, and desperately wicked. Who can know it? See, and this is what happens when you make, they made a covenant with the damn devil. Esau Edom, the so-called white man. That they, the white man this, the white man that, the, he's the devil. But you made a damn covenant with him. That's why you got a muzzle on. You ever see only one of the muzzles? You know, like, like, like on a mean-ass dog, you know, or some kind of, uh, you know, biting animal where they don't want it, you know, to, uh, to bite you or whatever. And you put a muzzle on you, they can't bite. Matter of fact, let's go here. This is awesome. They're all dumb dogs. I just, uh, the scripture just popped in my head, so I'm going to read it. This is impromptu. Again, this lesson doesn't have to be very long. But you know, and when you teaching things like that, I mean, just outright, that's a damn lie. And you know better. Isaiah 56 and verse 10. Anyway, a muzzle, you put a muzzle on a dog, you know, he can't, he can't bite you, even though he tries to. His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are dumb dogs. They cannot bark. Sleeping, lying down, loving slumber. That's what they're doing, man. Loving slumber. Okay? Yea, they are greedy dogs, which can never have enough. That's why they sat down and made a covenant with the devil. See, they made a covenant with him. They signed a contract, and 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 then uh, and then your the damn enemy, your enemy, the one that still has his foot upon your damn neck, the one who still is up over you, and you still a slave yet to this day. You write, uh, have a contract with him? Shit, please. Uh, uh, what he said, like, nigga, please. <laughs> what a joke. What in the world are you thinking? See, but everybody's back in their lot. Let's read it again from the top. His watchmen are all blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark sleeping, lying down, loving slumber. Yea, they are greedy dogs, which can never have enough. And they are shepherds that could not understand. They all look to their own way. Everyone for his gain from his quarter. See? <laughs> I mean, let us read verse 12. Here we go. Come ye, say, they, I, 
will fetch wine. Let's read it slow so they can understand. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Can you say, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? Let's read it slow. Come ye, say they, I will fetch wine, and we will fill ourselves with strong drink. And tomorrow shall be as this day, as much more abundant. That's them groups. Salakia, I had to go there. I, I had to. Baruch 3 and verse 8. What is captivity? What is, what is captivity? It's not indentured servitude. Okay? It's not indentured servitude. Captivity. Yeah, that, that means you, you, you captured somebody. You, I got you. I got you, biatch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got you. What the scripture? Man, come on, man. There's so many scriptures popping in my head right now. Baruch 3 and verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse. It's a curse. Okay? And to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from the Lord our power. Why did we go into slavery? Why are we yet this day in our captivity? Because we did not hearken and listen to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It's right here in Deuteronomy 28. Let's go all the way back. We'll read about it. You know, you can't just leave it on the table. Let's read about it. Prove all things. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15, but, but it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord, Yahweh, thy power, to observe and to do, uh, and Salaki, that threw me off right there, GMS North Carolina, love is waxing colder and colder and colder in the news, let's go, see, all right, unto the voice of the Lord, thy power, to observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All right? Uh, is it not a curse to be in slavery? Yet, even yet to this day, as it says in Baruch 3 and verse 8, where the Lord Yahweh by Shimei has scattered us. And again, mainly in, in, the, in the north, man. Right here in Babylon. You know, there's other places. But, but really, man, the main focus is right here in Babylon, the land of the Chaldeans, right? Where Esau Edom dwells, man. Where the mother of all harlots. That, that hoe, that hoe. <laughs> Inside joke, you know? That great whore, man. Let's see where we at here. Slokia. Revelation 11 and verse 8. This is, it's talking about the great whore right here. And about the dead bodies and, and about some of the things. It's the same thing in Sodom and Gomorrah. You know, he's, he's going. He's, it's, this place is going to be a great sacrifice. It's, it's nothing more than a prison house, as the scripture said. Again, there's so many scriptures running through my head right now. You know, I'm going to try to articulate everything I can through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Revelation 11, verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the in the great... It's Salaki. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Sodom, you know, Sodomites, you already know what that means. A whole nother camp teaching you can do it in the butt. See? You, you understand? <laughs> and uh, Egypt did not, uh, let's see, Exodus 20 and verse 2. Slavery. Oh, they didn't find any ships. Well, hey, the, the, the Clolita or whatever the hell it's called. That, that doesn't even matter. They, they, they hirelings and they teaching for, uh, for uh, they dumb dogs uh, uh, loving slumber, man. That's what's up. Where also our Lord was crucified. And he was crucified how? His image? Didn't they lay open the book and sought to paint the likeness of their images? You see? Now the, now the whole earth. And all, every damn body, even uh, two-third dumbass Israelites, you know, Kuna Kuna lights, uh, Salakia, you know, I, I just I just call it as as the uh, the word the word says, and don't add to it, you know, yeah, or take away because if you take away, you got to add something back, right? Huh? The heart is deceitful. Who could know it? Anyway, 
Even them, even them, they'll they'll fight tooth and nail, man. Tooth and nail. Because because their savior is their savior is a damn stringy haired dog. And you can't tell them no otherwise. You can't do it. Oh, they'll fight you, man. They'll fight you over 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 Jeebus. <laughs> you know that. You know that, don't you? Oh, they'll fight you. You know? Still they still got that damn stringy haired demon in, in the damn church. Come on, man. Come up on some kind of level, Israel. You know, I'm getting sick of that. Everybody, the black and African Americans and the damn Mexicans. Uh, you know, I'm sick of all that, man. You're, you're gonna have to come up on some kind of level. We didn't. We we're, uh, slavery didn't happen. It was indentured servitude, and and and, uh, and we're black. Come on, man. Jeez, really? You start uh, start saying exactly who you are. What are you afraid of? You, you, you bunch of damn wussies, man. Isaiah 14 and verse 2, And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them. Let's go back, Salakia. This, this shit is vexing to me. I don't get it. But yeah, I do. I understand. Isaiah 14 and verse 1. Let's read this. For the Lord Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob. And will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. That's a cut to them 1948ers. A super cut. Well, well then again, they don't even believe in, uh, uh, in uh, the son uh, of the, of the Most High, which his name is Yahweh Shai. They don't even believe in that. You know, they don't get a pass for nothing. You're going to get it. The Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai said he had war with Amalek from generation to generation. All of them. Even to the 10th generation. For the Lord Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob, the progenitor of the twelve tribes of Israel. We're gonna start. We, we're gonna start teaching. You know, you know, it, 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 uh, videos only for the elect any damn way. Teaching like a like we are uh, kindergarten. One, two, three, four. What comes after four? Anyone? You you big dummy. <laughs> And will yet choose Israel and will set them in their own land. He's going to do that. You see, there's so many scriptures running through my head right now. Wow. And the strangers shall be joined with them. Those are Israelite. Those are Israelites. Okay. Shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. You know, the house of David, the house of David is being built right in front of everybody's damn eyes. And you acting like a bunch of damn just niggas, man. You know? Niggas and, 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 and spicks. <laughs> Verse 2. And, and Indians. <laughs> <clears throat> Please excuse me. Salakia. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them. What does that mean? You know, you, uh, you we've all seen all them horror movies or whatever where somebody gets possessed with a demon. What does that mean? A demon takes them over and, and dwells in that body, and dwells in that mind, in that heart. Let's read it again. And the house of Israel, Salakia, shall possess them in the land of the Lord Yahweh for servants and handmaids. What does that mean? And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors. They are going to be put under subjection. Captivity. Slavery. Hello. It said whose captives they were. But according to one body, slavery never happened. Isn't that something? And like they uh, Saturday Night Live. Isn't that special? <laughs> you got to be kidding me, man. Here, here, let's go here. Let's see here. Uh, let's see, uh, what was I? Oh, man, uh, it's, it's eluding me right now. So lock you. All right, so we'll, clo we'll close that right here. You know, I just got one more left. That's it. You know, I just it basically was a, uh, you know, a rant, a spiritual rant. <laughs> Uh, it, it is what it is, man. Whatever. All right. 
Let's go. Exodus 21, verse 16. And he that stilleth a man. What does that say? And he that stilleth a man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. You see that? Are we not still yet this day in our captivity? Are we not here today? Didn't they refuse to let us go? There's so many scriptures. I, I got this soap. There's more scriptures. I, I mean, it's just it's, it's just flowing through me right now. This is Revelation um, 13. Yeah. 13 and verse 9. All right. <clears throat> Again, please excuse my voice. Salakia. Revelation 13 and verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. You know? Like the little, you know, like the little kindergartners, they got two ears. You got, you got two ears and one mouth, right? But slavery didn't happen because they didn't find any slave ships. Man, I sound like some Edomite would, would tell you. And, and matter of fact, that's what they tell, teach in school. That's what they teach the little children in school, man. They, 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 no, that's what they indoctrinate. Because there's no education going on in these damn schools, man. Especially in the cemetery schools. You know. Anyway, verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. What does that mean? And, and in a way, this is a it's a reincarnation scripture right here, regeneration scripture. And if you don't understand that, man, you if you by now, at this point in time, you don't understand about regeneration, you got a problem. I mean, you really you gotta dig deep. You gotta start reading or something. <laughs> you <laughs> take them, take them to the house. Uh, take them, take them, take them back to school, man. Damn. All right. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword. A, what is a sword? A weapon must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Okay. So the scripture right here just said. That the saints, which are the Israelites, the uh, 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 the, uh, the one third, you know, to be saved. <laughs> We're not saved yet. I don't know where they get that crap from either. Anyway, it said the, it said the saints are patiently waiting to, to 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 do what to receive the heathen in their captivity. They're going to be slaves. Don't you understand it? This is a simple. This is this is these are simple scriptures. I mean, it, you know, it's simple to us. You know, it's simple to us. But if you make a covenant with the devil, and you know, and you know, to have a make a, a conscious decision to sign a contract with the damn devil, then now you got a muzzle on, man. Now you are dumb dogs. You know, dumb dogs that, that can't uh, freaking bark. You understand? This is this is unbelievable to me, you know, but I, I get it. I see. Let's see here. I was going to go somewhere else, too. I said I was going to close out, but I, I sort of can't. <laughs> Psalms. Here we go. Psalms two and verse eight. <clears throat> Please excuse me. Salakia. Ask of me. You see, ask of me and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. All right? So, hey, the saints are what? Patiently waiting on what? That. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just going to leave it there. <laughs> Salakia. And I just couldn't stop, man. The spirit was spirit was on me, man. You know, I had to get them precepts. I had to. That's the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Let's go. <laughs> Hopefully this lesson was edifying. These, 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 uh, these ninjas have lost their mind, man. You know, again, hopefully this lesson was edifying, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone of whom I learn from daily. And a healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. Man, let's go. Let's get it. I really didn't intend for it to be this long. I don't know. It was it about 20 minutes or something like I don't know. It is what it is. Jake has got the attention span of a damn goldfish anyway. You know, hey, but, but that, it's, it's all good, though. It's all good, though. 
the elect man, they listen, they understand, they know, they know what's going on. You know, the hopeful elect, they know, they know what's up, man. That's what these videos are about anyway. You know, to the two thirds, man, should lock right on to you. That's what that's what's up. <laughs> Every chance you get, chant this place down. DTA and Kwame Yashirala, Wild Bible Ball. Boom! Shalom.